Custom PC water cooling's always had two major issues with its adoption, price and complexity. And today, Fantex is actually trying to solve that with their new Glacier Easy Fit kits that they're selling. See, I saw these back at Computex and I was super excited to take a look at them because they were actually able to solve both of those issues pretty well. First up, when it comes to price, we're gonna get that out of the way just because I think that's something that's gonna either make or break this kit for you. See, when it goes to custom water cooling, you can spend anywhere from maybe $300 all the way up to $2,000 plus, depending on all the different setup you need. This kit comes with everything that you need and there are two different versions. There is the base version, which just comes with soft tubing. Everything else it needs is all in the box. That one's at $399. And then this one that comes with the soft tubing, but also the hard tubing and all the bending accessories, comes in at $4.99. So now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about what actually makes this less complex. Well, everything is assembled for you. So all of the parts that you need are inside of this kit. And then the other thing is, they're actually using their new easy fit fittings, which are really cool. So they're a shark bite style fitting, which I'm gonna actually go ahead and open this up and keep talking to you about it. See, the shark bite fitting is something that's been used in plumbing for a long time. It's really nice because it doesn't need something like a collar or some kind of uh, barb with some kind of clamping mechanism it's super simple that is what is really cool about this and because these shark bite fittings are actually universal you can use it with both soft and hard tubing allowing you to build it with soft tubing today like this that comes in the kit and then upgrade it to hard tubing which is also in the kit down the road so what you get inside of here is you get the soft tubing you get the full bending kit so what is in here is basically everything that you're going to need to get going so you have your basically your insert for your hard tubing. This is designed to basically go inside of the hard tubing as you heat it up. This allows it to keep that internal shape so it doesn't collapse on itself. You get a couple of different bending jigs. So this is like for a 180 degree bend. This one's for a 45 and then there's also one for a 90. These are super handy to be able to get those perfect bends when you are dealing with hard tubing. You also get things like sandpaper, which is super nice just to get everything filed down. You have a jumper, which is important to actually jump the power supply when you're filling your loop. And then the last little bit is this little cutting accessory. There are much better cutting accessories out there, but this is a pretty simple one that's gonna get the job done and is actually pretty nice. And something I appreciate is the fact that they actually laid out how everything works with detailed instructions, which they didn't have to do. Beyond that, we also get an easy fill bottle, which these are super handy when you're actually filling it up rather than just trying to pour in your liquid directly into your reservoir. Super handy, nice to see included. You also get their new D30 fans. So these are 30 millimeter fans, 120 millimeter version. Um, there's actually, uh, these ones are in white. This entire kit is the white version that I actually got which is pretty cool. And we're gonna be doing a full white build with these. Inside of here, this is where things get uh, pretty exciting. So this is the Glacier Easy Fit uh, 450 CPU water block. So I wanna go ahead and open this up so I can show you what's so special about these uh, parts from Fantex. Because this is what got me super excited when we were actually taking a look at this stuff at Computex. So if we look at the actual water block, you can see it's a plexi top on top. We got like a white base plate. And then what's cool is that the fittings are already pre-installed. And these are those special fittings I was talking about. Let me show you. So these are the fittings that I'm talking about. See, these are shark bite fittings. You can see all these little teeth inside of the actual fitting itself. So what these do is these actually clamp on to both soft and hard tubing, which is what I'm excited about. And then there's actually just a release mechanism by pushing the fitting down. So we just push that down, it actually releases the tubing. I'm gonna show you guys a detailed demonstration in just a second, but that's what I'm super excited about. And then on top of the soft tubing, you also get two kits of their hard tubing. This is their Glacier Easy Fit uh, 16 millimeter high PMMA tubing, which I believe they're gonna be probably two pieces per kit. So this should be a uh, four, I believe these are probably three feet. It's probably about a yard long or a meter. So that's gonna be plenty of tubing for this kit uh, to be fully cooled. And then in here, we also have the radiator. If I open this radiator up, you can also see that this comes in white, which looks absolutely incredible. They did a great job with the paint on here. And those pre-installed shark bite fittings are already here with that easy release mechanism. That is what I'm excited about. So let's go ahead and get to the next part. So we'll go ahead and push this off to the side. And then the last item in here happens to be the actual reservoir pump combo. And this one is also really cool. So 
I absolutely love the look of this guy. So it also has a white finish on the outside, plexi top, so it's all visible. You're gonna be able to see your coolant run through your system. I like the frosted effect that's kind of on it as well. Again, it comes with those easy fit fittings on the side with the quick release mechanism. And then it also has a fill cap up on the top. And then for the pump that's built in, this is a D5 Gen 3 pump, which means it's gonna be super reliable and pretty quiet. So it's gonna move plenty of water throughout your entire system and keep everything nice and cool. So now that we have everything out, let's go ahead and talk about that easy fit system a little more. So let me show you what's so special about these fittings. So like I said, they are shark bite fittings. So as you guys can see in there, there's all those little teeth. But what's cool and what I'm so excited about is that because it comes with both soft and hard tubing, you can actually take either one, insert it right in, you just push it in, and it locks in the place enough where I can't even pull it out. The only way it releases is you see this little collar on the outside? Well, if you push that down, it pops right out. That is what's so cool about it. But then it gets even cooler. See, if you have soft tubing, if you put these little inserts on the end, which come in the kit, you basically insert it in the place, just like the hard tubing, and it locks in giving you tons of flexibility. And it's the same thing with the same push down and release mechanism that's used with the hard tubing. That is the easy fit system that Fantex has developed to make water cooling way easier for everybody. My personal fear when I first heard about this system was how strong can it actually be? Well, let's find out. Yeah, that's all my force. It didn't come out. That is so impressive, which means you don't need to worry about these push fittings falling out at any point. That was a lot of pressure, a lot of strain, even at an angle that doesn't allow it to be removed. That is impressive right there. But if I would just push down this collar, pops right out. That is so cool. And it's why I'm so excited to actually build with this. So over the years, you've probably seen the horror stories where people's custom water cooling loops leak and ends up frying their entire PC. And it's typically because of something like a faulty fitting. But having something like that, where you know the fitting is not gonna pop off or the tubing is not gonna pop right out, is really cool and it's simple. It's not complicated. This means that it should be available for just about anyone which is what I'm all about when it comes to PC building. Make it more accessible, more affordable, and easier for everyone. And after looking at everything that comes in this kit, really there's only one thing that I think Fantix possibly could have added, but I get why they didn't. A lot of people already have one, or they're pretty easy to pick up if you don't already have one, is I just realized that the only thing that's missing is a heat gun if you are gonna go with hardline tubing. So that's really the only thing that we're missing out here, but everything else, is complete and with that easy fit system, I'm excited to build with it. So let's go ahead and throw a system together, get this installed and see what it looks like. Now for a Glacier easy fit build, I grabbed a bunch of white parts, including the Fantex MV7, which I've been really wanting to take a look at for quite some time now. And yeah, let's go ahead and just build this out. I'll catch you guys up once I start doing some of the custom water cooling side of things um, so we can go ahead and figure out our loop order as well as how we're gonna actually configure it. And what I'm thinking is we'll probably start with soft tubing and then maybe upgrade it to the hardline tubing later on. So I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm currently planning out the build and how I wanna lay out all the custom water cooling gear. So for the easy fit system, it comes with this pump reservoir combo. One thing is are that the uh, actual fittings are on the side here. So I was thinking of putting this in the very back. So you can do a fan mount on the back here. So it stick about here, which would look really good I think. But the problem is I want to go ahead and switch those out for these ports here, which are normal G1 quarter thread. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these uh, shark bite fittings over to the front instead of the side. The reason for this is that if I put this back here, 
Then I could have some probably really clean runs going like straight up to the uh, radiator up top because I can put the ports over here and then also have a clean out to the actual CPU creating this very simple minimalistic uh, custom water cooling loop. I was thinking of going all the way down here um, but the only problem I have with that is I think it will look good but it's going to kind of throw things off I believe. Unless I do it high enough up, I still want to show off the open nature of this case. I want to show off the fans and I think kind of keeping it a little more um, minimal on the backside will make things look a little cleaner. So that's what we're going to go with. So I got both of those actually rotated over. It was actually really easy. Just need to actually unscrew these, unscrew these side ones and just kind of flip them around. Pretty simple, nothing too big. So let's go ahead and get everything installed. So what I ended up deciding for the reservoir is I found this mount that was included in the box, which allows you to attach it to a fan and it kind of gives this floating effect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this all the way in the rear like this, have all the cables routed out the back and then we'll kind of have that nice floating appearance. And it's super close to the actual um, top of the water block, which should give us some nice clean short runs. Tubes just have to go straight up to the top. So I'm pretty excited about it. Let's go ahead get this installed and we'll go from there. So now we got all the fans inside this build. We got all the water cooling components in here. What I wanna do is pre-wire the system. We're gonna take care of all the wiring for everything that has to go inside of the system. Get that sorted out first. Once we do that, then we can go ahead and go back in and do the custom water cooling, install the GPU and call it a day. So I now have all of the water cooling gear in here. I got the water block, the pump reservoir combo, the radiator, all installed. I'm about to do the tubing, but I did want to talk about two things that are missing from this kit that you may want to consider, especially if you're doing the soft tubing. There is a cutting device for the hardline tubing, but if you are going to do soft tubing, consider picking up some kind of cutting device. I have these ones from XSPC that work pretty well. You could also use something like a good pair of scissors. These are gonna be a little less precise. I do like this because it's a pretty straight cut, which will make things really easy for plugging everything in. And then just know you're gonna need some kind of cooling. Either get some kind of additive and use distilled water, or get some kind of pre-mixed one. This one's from Primo Chill. There's a bunch of others out there. They're not hard to find, um, but there are two things that are missing from this kit if you're gonna be doing soft line tubing. So for the custom water cooling, you gotta insert this in the soft tubing. That allows it to actually work with the shark bite fittings. You just plug it in there. And then now, figure out the length. One thing that it's recommended that you do is actually put a little water on the fitting on the inside, just a little drop before you actually put the tubing in just to pre-lubricate everything. Let me just plug everything in like this. Boom, that's locked into place. This is pretty simple. We just have the pump actually pumping directly into the water block. That then goes up to the radiator and then back down into the reservoir, back into the pump and so on. Very simple, very basic solution, but it works for what we're trying to do and it's nice and clean.
So as you can tell, it is now the next day. And one reason for that is a couple things. One, it was kind of late when I finished everything up last night. And two, there was an issue at the very end of the build. See, the fitting on the back of the radiator was a little loose. I think what happened was when I was pulling on the tubing at the beginning of the video showing how strong these fittings were, I actually twisted it just enough where it came unthreaded. So what I had to do was actually to redrain the loop. Once I did that, it was just one like quarter turn and the little leak that was happening went away. But I had to take care of that before I had all the system finished. But besides that, let me just tell you, using this Glacier Easy Fit system was one of the easiest experiences I've ever had with a custom water cooling kit. I've used probably five or six different versions over the years, ones from EK, Thermal Take, um, even some like off the wall brand ones over the years, and they're all hit or miss. I just love that the fact that they're using these shark bite fittings just because it's really cool because they're already pre-installed, which saves you part of the hassle. And two, I really like the fact that they're easy to swap between soft and hard cooling. So if you want to go for, you know, like a soft line tubing setup like this, it's pretty easy. And then let's say, and I'm thinking about doing it maybe next week. I want to go ahead and just see how easy it is to transition over to a hard line setup. It's not going to be that difficult because I don't have to remove any of the fittings. I can leave everything where it is. All I gotta do is just bend the tubes, get them installed, and yeah, I can call it a day and it's gonna look fantastic. That's kind of the thing I love about this kit is that upgradability aspect where you're not gonna be limited. And thanks to the fact that you're also dealing with something like a D5 pump, that's gonna also give you plenty of flexibility if you did want to add a GPU block. Speaking of GPU blocks, I was talking to my rep over at Fantex, and it turns out that they have a GPU uh, block if you do have an RTX 4090. It's the white Strix edition. They're working on a bunch of others currently. Hopefully, if the system takes off, they'll develop a bunch, and it'll be really nice just to have that all nice and integrated. That is one thing that you would have to buy separately, but that's typically the case with a lot of these custom water cooling kits. So when it comes to the value overall, I gotta say this is a pretty solid value because if you think about temperatures wise, going with a custom water cooling setup is really where things start to shine. And thanks to the D30 fans, this system's idling at just 24 degrees Celsius. And when I threw it under an 8064 stress test, it was sitting in the 70s, but that's with an Intel Core i7 14700K, one of the hottest CPUs to ever be produced. And yeah, this thing was just in check, perfectly fine. So at that point, it does end up becoming a little bit of that value just to have that better airflow, um, your better transition of the heat off the block thanks to the higher RPM uh, pump, which is actually gonna move a lot more pressure. That's really the main thing that comes with custom water cooling is you have a much higher thermal capacity compared to something like an all-in-one unit um, that's basically all designed in a very confined housing. Outside of that, I just love how this build came out. And I think Fantex did a really good job which is kind of creating a great ecosystem for this to actually work. It worked really well with all the D30 fans that we added and working in something like the NV7 was pretty awesome. So definitely one of my favorite builds I've ever done. And if you guys wanna see me go ahead and take this from soft tubing to hard tubing, let me know in the comments down below. And I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.